You know what I mean? Okay, just the two of you? Yeah. Is he over five? Yeah, five. He's five? Okay, it'll be $10. Hang on. Hey, you off, sir? Screen two, straight ahead, 102.1. You're welcome. I think the drive-in uh, has been a success in the United States because it combines two of America's great loves. America has always had a, a great love for the movies and America has always been in love with their automobiles. So when you combine those two, you've got a win-win combination. So I think that's been the key to their success. Uh, it's the uh, end of an era. Uh, this place has been uh, around for about 60 years. Uh, it's entertained a lot of people, made a lot of people happy coming out here. Uh, kind of sad to see it go, but uh, at the same time, um, optimistic in that we'll uh, hopefully be able to relocate. I've been watching the people coming in and out of here now for the last eight months, and it's, it's quite real as far as life goes, you know, it's just, uh, it's different. It's, a, it's more real life, you know, I'm going to miss it. Everybody's going to miss it. Well, if you look back at the drive-in, it's always been a place where you go out and be yourself. You didn't have to worry about being all closed in and, you know, and everybody having fun. You see the children running around and having a good time. And even when I was a kid, I liked it. did the same thing. And so it's, uh, it's just a good thing for people today when so much going on in the world. It just gives you a good way to release it, you know, release all your stress and stuff. Uh, funny enough, growing up abroad and seeing American films and American documentaries, and you always see the driving, big American icon. And then you've got the last one in Northeast Florida that's closing down. It's pretty sad.